windmills, solar panels, biofuel, these are possibly the future of the world's energy. And this bill, if passed into law, would give renewable energies a leg up by making them more financially competitive. Well, there are, uh, in Congress, in a variety of energy bills, there are incentives through tax credits and other means uh, to promote renewable energy, wind, solar, biomass. The effect of this bill, when uh, you add additional costs to generating electricity from coal, would be to make some of those other forms that don't generate greenhouse gases more cost competitive. A key aspect of the bill is so-called cap and trade. Carbon emissions are capped by the U.S. government, and anything above that cap could be offset by buying additional allowances for carbon. Robert Blue of the energy company Dominion says this bill is better for consumers than even the House version passed last year. When the House passed a bill last June, uh, it began with allowances being distributed for free. And the Kerry Lieberman bill has more allowances uh, for free. We believe that that bill has provided a, a better balance between achieving the policy goals of reducing uh, greenhouse gas emissions and protecting our customers from rate increases. And that's why we're on board with this bill. But a spokesman for the American Trucking Association says consumers will pay more in the long run from a hike in transportation costs. It will do absolutely nothing to reduce carbon output by the trucking industry. What it merely does is add to the cost of our fuel, which we then will have to pass on to consumers in the, the cost of the shipment that we charge the manufacturer and retailer, and they will then pass it on directly to the consumer. Clayton Boyce is the press secretary for the American Trucking Associations, which calls the Kerry Lieberman bill a hidden tax on transportation, a point not very well received at this truck stop just outside Washington. To fill this truck, you're talking $300. And, I mean, that's you know, it's ridiculous. I had my own truck 10 years ago, and it was 99 cents. Yeah, I, I pay enough on it. <laughs> According to the American Truckers Association, motor carriers deliver more than 70 percent of all freight in the U.S. Essentially a carbon tax or a climate tax, the, the goal of it, the stated goal of it is to make the fuel more expensive so people burn less of it. We can't burn less of it. It takes a diesel truck to pull a full load across the Rockies. The Kerry Lieberman bill aims to cut carbon dioxide emissions by 17 percent below 2005 levels in the next 10 years. Robert Blue says the legislation provides some incentives for nuclear power and other cleaner energies, along with finding new ways of using more traditional fuels. There's a money in this bill uh, for research on carbon capture and storage, which would allow continued use of coal even as we reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Despite backing a non-binding agreement to cut carbon emissions at the UN Climate Change Conference last year, the United States may find its hands tied by its current economic climate. Some lawmakers may be fearful of passing any legislation that could lead to further job losses in the U.S. I'm BOA's Rebecca Ward for Going Green.